Fillets and chamfers are important when creating CAD models as they're often used for breaking sharp edges on models. Distribute internal stresses and help your model look more aesthetically pleasing. First, I'll add a few different fillets to this model. This is the same mountain bike rocker I covered a couple lessons back, but now with a few tweaks. The fillet command can be accessed in a few locations. Expanding the modify panel at the top, right clicking in the canvas and expanding the modify flyout, then selecting fillet, or I can press F on the keyboard to activate the command. In the fillet dialog, I'm first prompted to select the edges I wish to fillet. This can be done by simply clicking on the edges on the model. I can set the fillet size in a few ways, by dragging the arrow in the canvas, entering a numerical value in the pop-up menu, or typing the value in the dialog box. I'd like to point out that if you've accidentally left an edge out or selected the wrong edges, this can be fixed without restarting the command. Just hold down the control key and select or deselect the edges you want filleted. Or, if you're working from a Mac, hold down the command key. Under the edges selection, you can see a drop-down for type. This is where the functionality of the fillet is specified. There are three types of fillets to choose from. Constant radius, cord length, or variable radius. Constant radius holds all the fillets to a specified single continuous size. Cord length allows you to define the fillet based on the cord or the width of the fillet. Another way to understand the cord of a fillet is to think of it as the distance between the two edges at the ends of the fillet. Finally, Variable radius gives you the freedom to add multiple points along an edge that will vary in size. Just select the placement of the points, enter the value for fillet size, and enter the distance the fillet will be from the edge. This can be done as many times as you would like, making it a very powerful tool for creating custom filleted edges. Moving down in the dialog, the tangent chain command allows you to select a single edge. And all edges connected in tangent will be selected to create the fillet. The next option, G2 makes the fillet curvature continuous. When G2 isn't activated, the fillet has a constant radius. When G2 is activated, the fillet has a varying radius that eliminates any edges. This is because the fillet matches the curvature at the adjacent faces. In this case, the curvature decreases as the fillet approaches the adjacent face. Finally, there is the option to define the corner types. Rolling ball combines all the filleted edges at the corner where the edges meet. By contrast, a setback corner type blends the filleted corner into the corresponding faces. Much like fillets, chamfers are used to break sharp edges. The only physical difference between the two is that fillets round edges while chamfers use angled faces. The chamfer command can be activated by either expanding the modify panel in the ribbon or by right clicking in the canvas and expanding the modify flyout and selecting chamfer. Chamfers are applied in the same manner as fillets. Edges can be selected and deselected graphically by using the control key or command for Mac users. The tangent chain also functions in the same way by selecting all edges along a path tangent to the selected edge. 
Chamfer type provides a few options for how the chamfer is defined. Equal distance, by default, sets the chamfer to a 45 degree angle and allows you to set the width of the chamfer. Two distances gives you the option to set each side of the chamfer an offset distance from the corner being trimmed and distance and angle allows you to set the angle of your chamfer and how wide you want your chamfer to be. I'm sure you're wondering when it's appropriate to use each of these features on a model. There are a few scenarios where you'd use one versus another. For instance, fillets can be used to cut internal edges of a model or to reduce high stress concentrations along a model edge. Chamfers can be used whenever the edge of the model will be interacting with another model or component in an assembly. These features can also make a model look cleaner, reduce weight, and reduce cost of a physical part made from the model. In these cases, it is up to you to get creative and customize the model.